Memphis playing football, like I, me and my brothers, we used to love football. But then we saw my uncle, you know, he was coming up playing basketball and he was playing in the driveway. He'd go play with his friends and, you know, we would be around basketball so much we started to play and I fell in love with it from an early age. And But yeah, I grew up in Memphis most of my life, my childhood, but right before high school, I moved to Mississippi. That's why um, Walls, Mississippi. The love for the game just grew. My senior year in high school, you know, um, I'm playing ball and trying, trying not to focus so much on college offers and, you know, trying to focus on the season. But, you know, as a player, you just, you get to wondering. And I didn't have many offers, you know, coming out of high school. Actually, I only had um, four ju junior college offers, you know. Um, and they, was, they were the only schools that really kept in contact with me. But Itawamba was one of them, and the coaches, Coach Pate, and it was Coach Kirk at the time, the assistant coach, and they were recruiting me, and, you know, I knew they was good guys, and, you know, it felt, it felt good. So I went there, I had, you know, an okay freshman year, and in my sophomore year, that was, was okay too, but um, then UAPB called, you know, my sophomore year at junior college, and, and the coaches here, you know, I don't, I don't want to say fell in love with them, but you know, I felt it was pretty, pretty unique to have coaches like that come and recruit you. You know, great relationship with them. You can tell they, they're good guys, professional. And once I got on my visit, you know, I played with the guys. You know, we played ball a little bit, and there was a, a instant bond right there. And that's how I ended up at UAPB. Um, being on the yard, it's been fun. Um, it's been better than I expected, honestly. Coming in, I didn't know. I really didn't know what to expect, but. It was my mom that I talked to. Um, she's always telling me it's my decision, though. Whatever I want to do, she supports it. So, yeah, she let me, you know, kind of be an adult, I guess, and make decisions on my own kind of, most of the time. You know, teammates that we have, coaches, everybody, you know, everybody gets along. Everybody loves each other. And it's been amazing. It's been one of the best teams that I've been a part of, you know, my whole life, you know. As far as relationships and friendships, you know, everybody, it's, it's amazing. Like, I could talk all day about it. But um, coming into the season, you know, preseason, we knew we were going to have a good team. You know, we know people doubted us. And, but we knew, you know, as hard as we worked and with the guys we have and a great bond that we have on this team, you know, we'll be a tough team. Even though we didn't win at all, you know, we, we felt like we had a pretty successful season. It was fun. A lot of hard work went into it. We had a great regular season. Um, we beat team, we was picked to be number eighth, you know, by preseason. But we we had a good run, you know. I keep thinking about because we didn't win at all, you know. But we had a good season, and we knew going into the SWAC tournament we was gonna be a tough team, and that's what we was building up to the most most of the season, trying to get prepared for the um, SWAC tournament. And we got there, we had a crucial game against um, Mississippi Valley that we had to play. And that led us to the, the Southern game, the game before the championship. You know, that was a tough game too. We had a, um, a tough fight, a tough fought game against Southern. You know, the game before the championship game against Texas Southern, we played against Southern. You know, it was a well fought game. It went down to the end. You know, um, a few guys had to step up and take over. You know, me and myself, I tried to take over, and Trayvon Harper and a few, a few more of the leaders out there, they stepped up, and, and we won that game, which led us to the championship game against Texas Southern. A hard fought game. You know, it's kind of hard to talk about it because we didn't pull it off, but it was hard fought, you know, and we had a few few laps uh, on defense, gave up crucial shots at crucial times, and, and they ended up walking away with it. Texas Southern walked away with the championship.